Welcome everybody, Farm Sim Snowy here. In this video we're going to look at how to install mods from the Mod Hub in Farming Simulator 19. So this is going to be a quick tip guide on the Mod Hub within the game. I'm on PlayStation, but this should apply to all platforms. So whatever you're playing on should be the same sort of system set up. Um, it only applies to the actual mod hub within the game. Nothing to do with downloading mods from the website. So if we scroll down to mods, straight away we're in the main menu the first menu which is the actual mod hub itself the first tip i'm going to give you straight away off the bat is if you look down the bottom um, it says show all mods so currently we're not showing all mods so because like i say i'm on playstation if i press l3 that now sh now showing all mods so if we go back to show top mods you see some of the numbers disappear so now we're showing all mods which is what you want so make sure you've definitely got that um, switched on otherwise you won't get the full benefit of all the mods so like I say this is the main mod hub with all the different categories so say for instance you're after a mower so we scroll along to mowers click into that menu and then you've got all the available mowers in game ready to download if you like the look of one say this one we click on it gives you a bit of information about it and then you can click down the bottom left hand corner install so mine would be X to install it I won't install it because I'll show you that a bit more detailed in a second so now if we move across the menus up the top so I will press R1 to do that on Xbox it's going to be RB and PC I presume would probably just be a mouse click so we move across to the top that is now the installed menu so basically that is every single mod that I have personally got installed on my game so yours is going to show different to mine depending on what you've downloaded and installed so if you've got any mods that um, need updating they're going to be at the front of your installed section and then if we click along again R1 to the next menu that's the update section so you remember on our installed section we had two mods there that need updating they say update look on them so they will appear in your update section so if we click on the slurry tank one and down the bottom left there we've got update so if I hit X just to confirm it it's downloading quit back out of that it's disappeared from the update so now if we move along to the other menu R1 let's do it with that one <laughs> so that basically this one downloads shows you everything that's downloading so there we have updated our case IH magnum and that appears in our download menu then so if I click back out of the download menu into our update all the updates have gone because we've clicked on update and they've disappeared now we go into downloads there's nothing appearing there because we've downloaded those two move along to the next menu this is all your DLC downloadable content I've got a fair bit downloaded because um, I can't remember what package I've got installed but it comes with a few DLCs and I've also got the season pass so if anything new comes out DLC it will appear here and you can install it from here so if we tab across to the next menu this is the best section basically this means that um, these are all the mods that have been rated the highest from all other users 
because you can rate mods which I'll show you in a minute how to do that um, so basically these are all mods that have received like five stars or pretty high ratings four stars four and a half so yeah they're just the highest rated mods across the board tab along again we've got most downloaded and this section means these are the mods that have been downloaded the most across the platforms from all users so obviously the IT runner pack here at the front is very very popular mod it's probably been mo downloaded the most for it to be there so that's that section and then if we tab across again we come to the latest section which is all the new mods that come out so as soon as a new mod drops it will appear here the newest at the front here as I've been recording this these new mods have dropped already today <laughs> which is handy so say for instance um, I want to download some of these new mods we'll just pick this one if we click on it and then hit install oh, so that's X for me we'll install it it's been added to the download list okay unfortunately for us console players if you look at bottom right corner we've got a system storage percentage mine's currently at 86 percent obviously as a maximum of 100 percent because every mod you download they've got a megabyte amount so this one if you look top right is 8.5 megabytes to download that mod and then if we go for this lizard cargo series truck that's 14.29 megabytes to download so if we install that there you go bottom right mine's gone up to 87 percent now so you kind of have to be a bit more careful picking and choosing your mods on console we install that one now if for any reason you don't use a mod anymore or you want to try and make room if you're on console um, you want to get rid of a mod you click back on it and if you press triangle for me uninstall down the bottom it'll just ask you if you want to install it uninstall it click yes that becomes uninstalled and it will disappear off your installed menu and then obviously your percentage will drop back down as you uninstall mods I've dropped back down to 86% there and then we tab along again we've got a recommended section which I think is just the game recommending different um, mods to you I don't know if it's based on mods you've already got downloaded or it's just what they're throwing up at you I'm not quite sure but it's just basically a recommended section if we just go back to the latest um, menu what I said earlier about making sure you've got show all mods on so if we turn that off now you watch how many mods disappear when we just click on show top mods so basically all those mods have disappeared now for instance if we take the John Gear John Deere Gator as a marker point now if we show all mods now if we scroll to the right until we find the John Deere Gator it's not even on there look so that get that's basically got rid of all those mods so just be careful of that that's all I'd say make sure you've got show all mods on otherwise you won't be showing everything that you can download so we'll go back to our installed section and like I say some mods have dropped as I'm recording this so we've got another update there the manure dealer pack so I will update that while you're here but also down the bottom while we're on this menu you see it says the rate option there so if I press um, square because I'm on PlayStation I can now rate this mod from one star right up to five 
And basically that gives the game an idea of how popular mods are and it creates those menus that we've just been through. So I'll give that a four star rating. It's not a mod I use regularly, but it's quite good. And that basically is the mod hub. One thing I will quickly point out, you see the green bits on these menus, that just means it's either a new mod in that section or um, it could be a, an updated mod that you haven't got installed like I talked about earlier. So there we go, we've got two new mods there showing, which is why it says the two on the truck section. And that's basically it. So I hope you found this useful and it's helped you. If you have, please give us a like. And if you don't subscribe yet, then please do. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine. I've been Farm Sim Snowy. Stay frosty.